These water drops look like they're falling up. However, the video isn't being played in reverse. If I hold a cup under the drops, we'll see that it fills up with water, even though it looks like the drops are somehow rising up out of the cup. This is an example of the stroboscopic effect. The water drops are illuminated by a flashing strobe light. Here's a slow motion video of the same stream of water under regular continuous lighting. We can clearly see that individual water drops are falling down, not up. So what exactly is going on here and why does it look like the drops are falling up? We'll use the slow motion video to explain. Let's pause the video here and mark the location of this drop of water with an arrow. If we flash a very bright, quick strobe light, that's where your eye will see the drop of water. Now, let's slow down the clip even more and watch the next drop of water as it falls. If we flash the strobe right here, just before the new drop reaches the location where we flashed the strobe for the previous drop, to your eye, it will look like a single drop of water moved up, even though it's a new drop of water that's actually falling down. In other words, the strobe light tricks your brain into seeing this. Each image here contains a new drop of water that has fallen to just above the location of the previous drop. Your brain interprets this sequence of images as a single drop of water that's moving up. By adjusting the frequency of the strobe light relative to the frequency of the falling water drops, you can make it look like the drops are moving up, falling down very slowly, or, if you get it just right, make it look like they're hovering in place. This illusion looks even better in person. It's notoriously difficult to film due to something called the rolling shutter effect, which you've probably noticed as dark bands sweeping across the screen in this video. You can build your own levitating water fountain using a small pump, some tubing, and a strobe light app on your phone. For instructions on how to build your own fountain, and how you can use it for a science project by examining how the frequency of the strobe light affects the apparent motion of the water drops, check out the links in the description of this video. For thousands of other fun, hands-on science and engineering projects, visit us online at www.sciencebuddies.org.